Hello everybody to lesson 35 of HTML Deep Understanding course. In this lesson we will learn the input types in HTML5. So let's uh, see what we have. <coughs> First of all we have here an, uh, a form. Okay, So inside the form we will write the input. Uh, for example the input. And you will learn the types of input only that support the HTML5. So HTML5 has new inputs that doesn't support it with HTML4 and the previous versions. But now we have HTML5 uh, uh, input types that it supports. For example, we have here uh, the color, the date, the email, the file, the month, the number, the range. Also have the search, the, the telephone, the time, the URL, and so on. We will start with uh, the color. So let's see what you have the color. Then the name it. Uh, I will name it color, for example. And let's see what we have. Refresh. Here we have the color. Okay, so from this input, you could choose the color that you want, and then click OK. When you send the 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 color will be sent. Lock here. The color is sent to the, I mean to the to the server. So the value of the color is this. So it could be known on the server, and you could continue your working. I will make a brick line here, and go to the next input. Input. And then the type of the input is the, uh, the next one is the date. So you could choose choose name date. So here you could choose the date of your um, for example here you could click and then see what date you want to choose. So then send it. It will be sent like that because we are using get here. The method is get by default. It's get. It will be get. So here the the the, the date is. Uh, that one that we have chose okay the next input would be it's a brick line here so that could uh, be printed great so here we have uh, another uh, input type which would be the email okay so let's duplicate that one save it then control V let's change only the date the the, the type I mean to be email save email save it and reload the website here we have the email if you entered any uh, any i mean any words or any sentence that is not match the the email it will show error for example so here so here he say please enter an email address if i entered for example safhatek at gmail.com then send it will be work perfect because it matches the email standard. The next would be a pick line, then inbot. Okay, let's see the type would be the file. Uh, imagine that you need to upload a file. Okay, so you'll need to name it to uh, define an inbot with fi type file and then reload it. Okay, reload, browse the file. And then we will select the file that we want. For example, here we'll select that one, that file, and we will send. It will work perfectly. So now we know uh, we have understand how to create a file. But notice when we create a file, we should find something here, which is uh, ink, ink type. Uh, then we have uh, application. I mean, for multi-part, multi-part form data. This one we will study it later. But you could, you should know that if you have a file and you need to upload the file, you should define that that one in the top of the form. Okay, let's go ahead, and we have uh, the next. I mean, the next input type. The type would be, which is the uh, I mean uh, the number. Okay type is number so a number we will define it we'll see what is the default refresh this is the number that we have so we'll enter as much as we want it's uh, only selecting a, a number so we could define two things in the number the min means the no min number which could be for example from zero and the max number the max which would be for example 100 so you could select only from one from one, let's refresh. 
so he could only select from 1 to 100 for example 100 0 to 100 for example if I write 1000 and look there is an error if I send you will say please select a value uh, not more than 100 so because the max is 100 so we use that if we need to create uh, an input file for only numbers great the next would be uh, another input which would be uh, with type uh, range which is range okay range which we could define it from range it has also the same with the number min which could be for example from zero max example from to 1000 or 200 or whatever you want okay then save it it's reloaded and this is the range value that we have it okay so that's the range so that was the number and this is the range it's from 0 to 100 okay go and the value that you need to manipulate it it's easy just uh, with JavaScript you could get the, the the value we will learn that in JavaScript so it would be easy to to get the, the value of this type number or the range or any one of these things with the JavaScript or, or with uh, PHP which is in server and we will know this difference in the uh, future courses okay second we have input uh, which could be search the search sorry type search so in search we could okay the name I mean the name we should define it with every input even if here and here and in the file and the email every uh, part should define the input so the search is wor works like only the it works like the the text only you type the text go ahead also here type the text and then click search and it will search okay then we have another uh, another input type input type which could be the tell which is telephone okay look tell which is telephone so the name would be telephone one or phone it's called only phone phone save it the reload the website we have here the phone so if I enter that number and click enter he would say he see it here this here we should see example nine and click he sent the type of phone but we could adjust it with uh, I mean with the uh, with JavaScript or with BHP so we have here the next would be the time and the URL okay the time uh, imagine that we need to add a time the user to allow the user to input type to input time okay so we could allow the user to, Im to enter his time or her time so you could enter here for example uh, 1 12 and then 22 and then the value then send so work like time great here we have yes we could call it mm, name time you should notice something wait look here when I refresh or refresh that thing and enter I'll enter here the value and then send look there is no 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 uh, value will be sent why because we haven't identified the, the name so the name should be here and we should write it name time or any name then we should refresh and here if I add a, num a, a, a value any value we need it send it will be sent here okay so the time is here text type so it could be sent here if we uh, have the identify the name the next will be the URL okay imagine that you need your user to only send a URL so how could you do that only define an input with type URL and name it for example user URL user URL save refresh and here is it if you entered anything other than the URL you will see please enter URL so it should be like URL 
could be, for example, toe dot, I don't know what, then, uh, okay, then send. This mistake is because that one is, is not a dot, it's semicolon. So dot, then send. Let's delete that one and I'll repeat it. 22, one. What's the problem? I mean, this is a URL. Enter a URL. Okay, what's the problem? Say URL. 62. Dot 66. Dot 0. Please send the URL. I don't know. They mean it. But you could write the URL that you have. Let's refresh the, that page and see what we have. Send. I don't know what's the problem, but I have tried that one. URL. Save. And reload. Okay, then come type dot one eight dot two two dot one send. There's some problem. I don't know what is it, but you should know that this is used for the URL. So the URL is here, so you could uh, identify the URL and send it with that user dash URL. But here is a problem. I don't know what is it. Type URL. Okay, Mindy doesn't support it or what? URL should we delete the name save refresh and type the URL okay should we write https in the URL one two three four Sin yes it works so he needs to know the, I mean, the, the schema, for example, HTTP, like that, and then you could write your, I mean, your IP. Only there are four. One, two, three, four, yes, it works. So that was this, the lesson of today. Uh, it's enough for now, and see you in the next. Bye for now.